Welcome folks. Today I was going to be talking a little bit about uh, nuts, bolts, and screw threads in general. Uh, what you see before you here. Uh, the first two examples are mostly used in the United States of America. Uh, they were used in Canada up until about 1976. Uh, 77 we went to the metric system. These are inch system uh, bolts that you see in front of you. This one with the coarser threads is a national coarse series and the one with the finer threads is a national fine series. Uh, this is a general overview for the start of this video and I'll get into a little more detail as we go. Uh, these two here, uh, this is uh, a six millimeter uh, bolt. Uh, it's the metric system and believe it or not in your Ford, uh, Chevys and Chrysler products uh, you have uh, metric threaded spark plugs in them and I'll show you how to measure those and uh, that's a 14 millimeter thread by the way. They're measured by the outside diameter of the thread on all of the different systems. <clears throat> the first two are in the inches and these two here examples are being uh, in metric. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, a bit of a dry throat today. So anyways we'll get started with this. Uh, with the bolt it's uh, there's two, two di different uh, there's uh, coarse and fine threads see if I can hold my hands uh, still enough. But you can see how coarse that is and I'll hold the other one up too and you can see just the they're both 3 8 inch diameter bolts and this is the national coarse and this is the national fine. What you'll see on most uh, automotive uh, uses is uh, for the most part you'll you'll probably see a lot of national fine uh, threads uh, but there's there's the odd uh, national coarse depending on what the application is and here's the corresponding nuts that go with them uh, they just basically, uh, these, these bolts can be either threaded into a part without the nut or to, to sandwich some parts together you just basically put the nut on the parts are in here and then you tighten them with wrenches and that secures the part. Uh, it's a very basic video I'm making, it's, it's not for the expert out there it's just to give uh, some uh, grassroots kind of uh, information session for people who don't know a whole lot about mechanics or things like that. Uh, getting on to the metric system now. This one here is uh, a six millimeter diameter bolt. Um, it's just a smidgen under a quarter of an inch for those who use, use, using the inch system. Uh, for the threaded system on the other ones, they count the by how many threads per inch there are in one inch. So you get a scale here and if you take the, uh, the one inch mark if there's that many threads there to count Probably be better if I use it on the, the national fine thread because there's more threads there to go but you measure between the start of that scale and the one inch mark and count the number of threads that you see and that'll be how many threads per inch that one is and if it's a national fine you're gonna have more threads per inch than you are with the other one the national course. Now the metric system is quite a bit different uh, what they do I'll hold up the spark plug here it's a 14 millimeter outside diameter thread it's usually it could be designated with an M in front of it, like an M14, and uh, this one happens to be a, a 1.25 millimeter pitch. Now, with the metric system, they don't measure how many threads per inch; they measure from one tip of one thread crest to the next, and it'll be in millimeters. So, what you have there is, like I say again, is a 14 millimeter on the outside diameter, and from one thread crest to the next thread crest is 1.25. 25 millimeters or one and a quarter millimeters. Now the way you can measure these things if you're not sure what you have, I've had these for years they're called screw pitch or thread pitch gauges. The, uh, the one on top is for inches, threads per inch and the bottom one there is the metric system and it, and it tells you uh, on, the, um, on each individual blade it's a different thread count so um, you just match that up what fits in there best there's uh, overlapping times you really got to be careful if you're comparing threads. Some, some of these ones actually overlap between the two so you really got to be careful what you're doing. You don't want to put the wrong uh, thread in the, the wrong hole so to speak. So I've got them all fanned out here. These actually fold up into the handle and you only basically leave the one out that you, you really want to use. Like you have a few of them out to find out which one it is and when you finalize just leave the one hanging out. Okay we'll work with the national course system kind that use mostly in the United States. Um, for these examples here that's a 3 8 diameter bolt so you just basically find the corresponding gauge that fits in there and there's actually charts and you can look up on the internet what the standards are. Each size of uh, a bolt or nut has, has a standard size thread 
one for the course, one for the fine. In the metric system, uh, they, like I say, they, they measure from the outside and uh, they, the, the pitch between threads. So if I go ahead, I've already kind of looked at this one. This is 3 8 uh, and that one fits in. And if you can see on your video, it shows a 16. Got to get the light right in there. And it fits right down into the base of the thread. And there's, you wiggle it back and forth and make sure that it's not being held up anywhere. And uh, that'll give you 16 threads per inch. So that makes this a 3 8 16 thread per inch N NC or national course bolt. You may see a U in front of the NC. That just means unified. Basically the same thing. And then with the, uh, the fine thread, um, it was 24, I believe. So there's the 24, and it fits right in there. And let's see, get some light on it. I don't know if I can do that. We're down a bit lower, maybe. But it says 24 on the uh, the gauge. And uh, now that we've uh, completed the NC part, I can show you how this thing folds up. On that last one, basically, once you've determined what it is, you can just leave that one out, and that way you can refer back to it. So there's the one blade there sticking out. There's some thumb screws here and all the blades fold up, much like a pocket knife would. Same thing with the other set I have for metric. And uh, getting on to the metric now, this is uh, six millimeters outside diameter. It's just slightly smaller than a quarter of an inch. And uh, this one appears to be, you'll see the, the bolts, they generally designate these ones uh, with an M in front of them. So an M6 would be a six millimeter bolt. That's the outside diameter of it. And then the pitch is one millimeter pitch. That means it's one millimeter. And there's the one on there. Hopefully I can hold it still enough. That fits right down in the bottom of that. So that's a one millimeter pitch bolt. So from one sharp crest to the next is one millimeter. And uh, that's uh, just over a 32nd of an inch. Okay, then the spark plug, like I'd mentioned in your domestic vehicles, um, you know, your hot rods and everything else, your Camaros, you can double check on the internet if you like, but uh, this is a fairly common one. It's a Champion spark plug. This is like a, for a 70s car. And uh, you don't need the metric for that. Or, excuse me, you do need the metric for that. These are metric. So all this time you think in your, your domestic vehicle made in the United States of America had uh, all threads and bolts made out of uh, inch uh, system fasteners. Well, here's the exception. Um, there may be some really old timers that might have something different, possibly a larger uh, diameter spark plug. Uh, this one is uh, 14 millimeters. I think they might have made an 18 millimeter for some of the heavier, heavier duty engines and trucks maybe, but uh, this is pretty much a standard for the old muscle cars and things. And uh, this one is uh, 14 millimeters on the outside. And uh, it's, it's, just let me measure this for a second. I think it's just under, just under nine, nine sixteenths of an inch. So anyways, we, uh, we can use the pitch gauge for that. It's uh, 1.25, I have it out. And it just basically fits in threads like so. And once you've got that all the way in there and it's not doing a teeter-totter on you and all of them look like, get a, a good pair of reading glasses or if your vision's not so great or a magnifying glass if you can't see it that well but the lighting in here isn't all that great but I can tell you what it says on the gauge it says 1.25 and that's the metric system that's 1.25 or one and a quarter millimeters pitch from one thread to the next so there's um, basically what I have for you today it's just uh, a basic beginners video or if you don't know too much about threads uh, and fasteners nuts and bolts well here's your start hopefully I'll make some more with uh, different things like fittings and specialty kind of fasteners and things so you can use that uh, for food for thought all that said and done take care have a nice day and bye for now